Welcome. I'm super happy to be here on stage because last time I was talking at GoforCon, it was during COVID, so it was virtual. And back then, I was talking about post-quantum encryption. Today, I'm going to talk about time-lock encryption, which is how to encrypt something to the future. Yep. That is a bit counterintuitive, you might say. And it's actually something that's possible. So here, if we are now, and uh, we want to encrypt something, you cannot decrypt until maybe Christmas. Well, it seems like a difficult task, right? So the, the first people who talked about that or thought about that uh, were the crypto uh, anarchists back in the 90s. And the idea back then was, oh, you just give your plain text to somebody, and when the time has come, they can reveal the plain text, you know, using a Netary system. And that's not great, because you need to trust somebody. So academic research, you know, as it works, did some research, had IDs, and fast forward 30 years later, nobody actually deployed any time lock encryption system in the wild. So if you wanted to do that last year, you couldn't. And it's a bit sad. So what we've done, basically, is look at this problem and be like, oh, it's so cool. We could do so many things, like sealed bid auction or, I don't know, responsible disclosure. Because you know, when you find a vulnerability in a product and you agree to a 90 days timeline before releasing it to the public, I think everybody's very worried about, you know, what could happen. So to avoid the bus factor of getting hit by a hitman, you could use time lock encryption, right? So it's a pretty cool feature. And it basically works. I won't tell you oh, but it's, you know, math works well. And before explaining exactly how you can do it today in Go, I want to do a small digression. So time lock encryption is about encrypting something to the future. And we don't want to encrypt all of the data. We don't need to. We can just encrypt the key you're using to encrypt your data with, symmetric, uh, with a symmetric algorithm like AES. And if we just encrypt that data encryption key, we are safe. Same idea as the post-quantum uh, schemes we were presenting last time. And so to do that, we decided to use AGE. And that's a second digression. If you don't know about AGE, it's an amazing tool made by Filippo, who's well known for the Go Crypto you know, uh, maintenance he's doing. Um, and AGE is very easy to use. You can just encrypt data for a recipient. You know the public key, and you do like a few lines of code, and bam. You can see it's encrypted because you can't read it, right? <laughs> Anyhow, so to achieve time lock encryption, we have to cheat. So we can't just encrypt something to the future. Uh, so what we need to do is find a way to know what time is it. We need to have a cryptographic clock. And to achieve that, what we do is we use the DRAND ecosystem, running the legal entropy with Cloudflare, a few universities, and so on. And what they do is they release a random beacon every 30 seconds. And that is perfect, because that gives us a clock. And we know it works. It's been running for three years in production. And so we can just use that to achieve time lock, because their signatures are using pairings. And that's what we do with TLock. So TLock is a Go library. You can use it today in your code base. And it will be client-side for encryption. So you can just download it you know, and start using it using the command line tool. Or you can use it in your code base just by saying which network you want to connect to. And then the client side stuff is happening during encryption, so you don't need any network for that. For decryption, you need to know what time it is. And so you need to query the DRAN network, which is run by roughly 20 organizations with 25 nodes. And you can trust them, or kind of, you don't know. That's the point, right? So you only need to trust that there is never more than 13 nodes at once that are malicious. That's the point of having a decentralized network to do that kind of things, because if one node is down, the rest of the network will keep working, and so on, and so on. And so, yeah, easy peasy, you can encrypt to the future. And I have a playground link at the bottom. And here is a AGE ciphertext for a time lock encrypted thing that cannot be decrypted until 3.55 today. So I am going to wait now, just three minutes, right? No, I'm kidding. Anyway, if you want to use it, uh, you can use it also online using JavaScript. We have a web demo. And I'm going to be publishing the slides on my uh, Twitter. So if you want to check out the library or try the, the code, you, you can do so. 
And yeah, you can find me around. Uh, I also love using GoPass. So if you want to talk about password managers, come to me. Awesome. That's it.